Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. Pixable comes in with a CPU upgrade question, and this is an interesting one. It is. He says, do you think it'd be worth upgrading from a 10900K to a 10940X to get longevity for future gaming? I don't want to upgrade to 11th gen Intel since they don't have anything worth getting. Okay, this is a different one. I do not get asked this question no, very often. We don't actually. A 940X? I need to explain this because I'm willing to bet that at least a few people are like, what? Well, we know what the 10900K is. What That's... CPU is this? Right, so the i9-10900K is the 10th generation Comet Lake flagship, 10 core, 20 thread, 5.3 gigahertz beast on the Z490 platform. Nice CPU, very fast, very hot running, but very fast and very nice. The i9-10940X is Cascade Lake, HEDT or high-end desktop X299X motherboard platform. That is their LGA 2066 quad channel RAM 72 PCI Express Lane ridiculous beast. Those are actually available for reasonable prices. The top end chip, which I think more people might have heard of, although maybe not that many more, is the i9. 10980XE, which is the 18 core, 36 thread, top end Cascade Lake X chip. You made a video on that, right? We've made several videos on that, actually. I, I have one. Uh, that's my main content creation video editing machine just right down the hallway here at the office. The i9 10400, uh, i9 10940X. Yeah, the 10940X. Intel, these product numbers suck is a 14 core, 28 thread, cut down version of that chip. So instead of 18 cores, it's yep, 14, 14 cores. 14 cores, yep. Here's the problem. They are an older generation core. Their clock speed is lower. And you are on a platform that is not designed for gaming. It works no, for gaming fine. I've gamed on my 18 core chip, but the boot times are longer. There's a lot more on the board. Uh, it takes much longer to boot my, my Cascade does. Lake X machine than it does to boot my, my i9 at home. Um, the i9 consumer chip boots in like five seconds. The work machine, of course, there's a lot of things plugged into it. But... You, can almost, you can almost spoil the jug while you're waiting for it. So, I would not. Uh, no. In fact, if gaming is your thing, and you go from an i9-10900K to an i9-10940X, your games will run slower, and there will be more latency and worse frame times. Because the i9-10900K has a very tight quarter core ring bus where all the cores are in a nice ring and the quarter core latency is very low. The Cascade Lake X chips use a mesh. Think more Infinity Fabric. Mm. The quarter core latency is worse. That chip is designed for Blender, Adobe Premiere Pro, a a virtual machines. Content creation. Professional work. It is not meant for games. Do you know what he should upgrade to if he wants the best? 5900X or 5950X? The last one. 5950X? Ryzen 9 5950X S Zen 3 16. 16 core 36 thread. 36, 30, yeah, 32. 16 core, 32 thread. I was thinking the 18 core. They all run together. My apologies. Thank you very much. 16 core, 32 thread. That is what you want. And incidentally, that's what I am doing. Now, I have an i9-10900K at the office for testing for, for the YouTube channel. But my personal gaming machine at home is an i9-9900K, the previous one, 8-core chip. And I'm going to be replacing that with a Ryzen 9 5950X because I can consistently get all 8 cores slammed. But of course, I'm a heavy user. I have multiple monitors. I do a lot more with my machine at home. Not content creation. I'm just a heavy user. And I find that 8 cores is starting to become... 
didn't last me very long. But of course, I went from six cores to eight cores, which is never enough of an upgrade. So that's what I'm doing. And that's what I'd recommend he do as well. I agree. Cascade Lake X is almost pointless outside of people who need the PCI Express lanes. 72 total PCI Express lanes between the platform lanes and the chip lanes, quad channel RAM, and AVX 512, which the consumer platforms don't support, but virtually nobody watching our videos needs AVX 512. So, yeah, skip it. Either go Ryzen or wait for Alder Lake. And even then, if you have an i9-10900K, I wouldn't do Alder Lake either. No. I Wait for Raptor. Raptor Lake. Let them work the kinks out of both Windows 11 and the big little big core little systems. Course. Give them a year to... Yeah, you want to hit 13th, Jen. Yeah. Are Lucky... they going to do 13th or are they going to skip that and go 14th? Lucky number 13. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.